सो द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ माइक्रोब्स आर बैक्टीरिया सॉइल बैक्टीरिया वैन इट कम्स टू एग्रीकल्चर लैंडस्केप्स इट्स मोस्टली बैक्टीरिया डोमिनेटेड बिकॉज वी कीप डिस्टर्बिंग द सॉइल द फंगर डजेंट गेट ए चांस टू स्प्रेड एंड कॉलोनाइज आवर लैंड सो इट्स मोस्टली बैक्टीरिया विच थ्राइव देयर सो बिकॉज ऑफ देर स्मॉल साइज एंड देर ग्रेट अडेप्टेबिलिटी दे थ्राइव दे थ्राइव और एटलीस्ट सर्वाइव इन आवर एग्रीकल्चर लैंड्स but one uh, important thing which bacteria need to survive is moisture they always need moisture so they uh, survive in back, uh, water films films of water so if you want beneficial bacteria to survive in your farmland so it's always advisable to maintain some level of moisture in your land so if you have a orchard uh, so it's always a doable to at least irrigate it for 5 minutes so that it, this moisture becomes uh, re- is retained so why do organic farm uh, farming they always preach about uh, live mulching again it's uh, to save moisture so when uh, the live mulch let's say sweet potato or your legume typical legume it's cover covers all your land it saves uh, that moisture in your soil and uh, the bacteria thrive so there are two types of uh, bacteria so one are the aerobes which are supposedly the good bacteria they need air to survive so if the air is not there they either die off or going to dormancy the other ones are uh, anaerobes so most of them they are pathogenic they cause uh, plant diseases so they don't need air to survive they survive in water locked conditions so if you go to a vegetable plot which uh, there there was a lot of rain and uh, there was water logging you would see that the plants the vegetables they have started dying off it's because of this uh, anaerobic bacteria it's because of this water logging conditions which gave rise to uh, multiplication of anaerobic bacteria so uh some plants like especially legumes you could take your tur dal your chana dal or uh, peanuts uh, these are all legumes so what they do is once they germinate they synthesize certain uh, chemicals which uh, start attracting these beneficial bacteria rhizobium bacteria nitrogen fixing bacteria you must have read about uh, rhizobium in your schools but and then we tend to forget about all about rhizobium but without uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria half our food crops would be gone still uh, today we are dependent on plant protein a lot in india and without these nitrogen fixing bacteria none of these plant protein uh, growing this plant protein would be possible so these legumes what they do is they synthesize some compounds which attract these bacteria and they start and come living in they form nodules in the roots if you pick up a peanut plant if you uproot a peanut plant or turdal plant you will see its root has these nodules round round nodules which are home to this nitrogen fixing bacteria so these bacteria they convert nitrates and make it bioavailable they supply nitrogen to the tree to the plant to grow and the plants being plant they synthesize and supply glucose to this to this nit to this uh, rhizobium bacteria it's again a mutualistic relationship and when these bacteria they start decomposing these uh, leaf litter or organic matter in the soil right they release lot of chemicals inside the soil which keep the soil particles together if you pick up healthy soil it's not free flowing like sand the soil particles they form micro aggregates they form tiny particles of uh, tiny aggregates of soil right and which keeps this soil airy and porous so the, all this is, is because of bacteria and when you apply fertilizer and kill off all these bacteria so this micro structure is lost 
and uh, the the soil layer it becomes compact every year it will become more and more compact and when it comes to plant diseases the more you use heavy machinery on your farms the soil becomes compact and it creates anaerobic conditions and anaerobic conditions the pathogenic anaerobic bacteria will thrive and this will keep causing some one or the other diseases in your farms so as long as the porosity is maintained the beneficial bacteria thrive and once the compaction of the soil starts happening the anaerobic bacteria will thrive and it will keep causing problems with your plants and it will keep uh, increasing your budget of pesticides so that's why maintaining porosity and avoiding fertilizers is important and maintaining a healthy bacterial population in your soil is very important so when you let's say you have used chemicals for let's say 10 out 10 or 15 years and now you want to you, you want you want to stop using them and you want to make your soil more porous you want basically you want uh, good bacteria to recolonize so that's where all these uh, jeevamrita etc comes into act these are all uh, basically bacteria bacterial mixtures bacterial consortiums which are up, you are applying to the soil and they are taking over and making the soil porous again so to keep these bacteria alive always maintain a certain level of uh, moisture in them and maintain live mulch etc to preserve this moisture